listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guests. Chris Hansen is in the house. First timer all the way in from Missouri. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. And, you know, we had to let repeat offender Brent Humphreys in the house as well because he wins all these awards so we figured we'd let him in. Welcome Brent. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you with us as well and let me remind you if you ever have any home or finance related questions I am the consumer advocate looking out for you and you can reach out to me directly 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan. A plan to save you money. I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. And yes, of course, we are celebrating today. Now, this is a good one. And join me in this celebration today because today is National Chocolate Mint Day. Having beaten anorexia, I always bring things back to food. And being that we're thinking food, chocolate, mint, does that get anybody else thinking about thin mint cookies? Well, if you're not thinking about thin mint cookies, you should be because the Ron Siegel Radio Triple Play is well underway right now. We are collecting money. We are buying Girl Scout cookies. And the reason I call it a triple play, it's very simple. You just send us the money for the cookies, as many boxes as you'd like, as many boxes you can afford. We're trying to get 300, figure, kind of figures in with that triple play. Right? You can send the money by Zelle or Venmo or however, or Square Cash App, however you want. But send the money. And then Girl Scout Troop, and I guess I better not say their troop number because I heard that that might get them in trouble because the girls technically wouldn't be selling them if I'm, out, if I'm out here begging for you to send money. But the Girl Scouts are going to take all the money, they're going to buy the cookies, and the cookies get delivered to the Orange County Family Justice Center for the benefit of the battered women and children. And the reason I make it a triple play, because that's obviously the double part, the triple part yeah, they're all calorie free for the buyer and for me, so because we don't ever touch the cookies. They wouldn't let they wouldn't make it. So whatever you can do, help us out, send some money. We're trying to get 300 boxes and the Girl Scouts will be delivering them directly to the Orange County Family Justice Center. It is National Mint Day, so we'll just figure we'll call it Thin Mint Day. It's the only time I ever get anything that's thin around here, so uh, that's just a personal issue. Uh, moving right along, taking a look at the markets. Well, what are we going to look at in the markets today? Guess what? They're closed. It's President's Day. I got a bad feeling about this. Interest rates will not be increasing today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will not be volatile today. Oil, well, I guess it is, might still move a little bit. There are some of the markets. The world markets are still open. They don't realize it's President's Day. So we'll just continue on with our news of the day because there are still quite a bit of news items that are taking place. And if you watched any of the Sunday shows, you'll catch a lot of that news. Well, maybe it's not news. Maybe... I don't know. That is it. Is it propaganda anymore? I. I mean, what can you watch? I, I tried watching the other night. Democrat Central. I think it's with Stephen Colbert as the host of Democrat Central. I got ill. I mean, how do you watch? How do people even watch that kind of garbage? Nothing like a little air superiority. Yeah, Colbert. I mean, what what a what a joke that is. Of course, maybe you know why people aren't watching any of those night movies. Uh, 
Uh, what's the guy on Channel 7? I mean, it used to be Nightline. At least that was somewhat decent. Now they've got that other guy that uh, goes out there and cries about everything. What? I, I don't even know the guy's name. Uh, it's not Jimmy Fallon. Bran, help me. But who's, who's that guy on Channel 7? I don't, I don't really ABC. watch TV. See, you, know, you wouldn't know that either, see? <laughs> even you're not watching it, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, he's another one of the... Uh, not Jimmy Fallon. Ke uh, O'Brien. Uh, whatever. Who, who cares? Who's, who's, no. See, just like I said, no one watches him. I'm just glossing over after all the Thin Mint talk. I mean, that's all. I've, that's where my brain is right now. It's okay. Well, you know, you can, if you want a Samoa, I guess they don't call them Samoas anymore. That's against the rules. Uh, whatever the different cookie wow. types are. Uh, let's move on to other news out there right now. Uh, the Trump hammering the FBI. President Trump in a Saturday night tweet implied that. Maybe the FBI was partly to blame for the school shooting. They accused the Bureau of spending far too much time trying to prove Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. And they urged the FBI to return to its core mission. I'm not sure. You know, I, I think there's a lot of great men and women in the uh, FBI. And, and thank goodness that they're there. There was mistakes made. I don't think there's any question about that there were mistakes made. But here's the issue. There's 330 million Americans and they protect the people so well that it only takes one mentally deranged individual to make everybody look bad. So I'm not sure that you can really put place blame other than the fact that, you know, our mental health system does need some help. And unfortunately, now we've got people like Al Hoffman contributed millions of dollars to various Republican candidates over the years. But he now says it's the end of the road unless the GOP embraces a ban on military style weapons. Really? It's not the weapons. Why don't you spend your money on mental health issues and figure out how to help people that really need the help? Uh, and how about late on Friday, the indictments that came out of the Mueller, Mueller investigation, right? I mean, uh, Facebook may be uh, implicated there a little bit. We'll see. But I noticed that Facebook now is going to be involved in snail mail. Who would have thunk it? They're going to actually now be... When you, whenever somebody wants to post a political advertisement, they want to have a mailing address so they can send a postcard, kind of like Google does, where they check your address to see if you're a, a local. Well, they're going to send a postcard. You have to put some information in from the postcard. They want to try, they're trying. You know, the, here's the issue is you get a, an individual like Mark Zuckerberg who had a great idea, has a great idea. And it's being used for something that it wasn't intended to be used for. And I think Zuckerberg might be in way over his head. And I think he believes he, he can be president someday. But I think he's learning right now that maybe this might be a little above just a little social media chat time. And yes, we are on social media. And we've got about 50,000 connections across all of our different channels. But you know something? That's a whole new ball game. And I'm just saying... Uh, it might be something that's a little bit out of Zuckerberg's realm. And shouldn't our intelligence agency be coordinating with people like Facebook and Google to try and make sure? I don't think anybody wants Russia involved because really when you think about it, the war that Russia uh, started with the United States, they've won. Think about that concept. What was their intent? If you send out people, kind of like George Soros, no difference, but... When you go out and you send out people to, and you're paying people, to go out and protest against Trump, and at the same time you're sending people out to protest for Trump, or promote Trump, what are they, what's their goal? It's to create chaos. And I don't know, if you look at what's going on, I mean, we got the lunatics here in California, Adam Schiff and Mad Maxine Waters, right? I mean, they've, they've created this chaos, and it's really a shame, but uh, they've, they've won this battle. Now the question is, who's going to win the war? We'll find out. Mainstream media is venting its collective spleen at White House spokesman Hogan Gidley when asked about Russian meddling in the 2016 election. In apparent effort to sow chaos, Gidley said Democrats and the mainstream media have been far more effective at fomenting disorder. Reporters quickly jumped on Twitter to jump on Gidley. Now I'm going to share with you, I've said this privately, I've said it publicly, the lame street media is trying a coup on the United States. That's exactly what it is. It's a coup on the United States because when you have 91% of the media coverage is negative against the President of the United States, 
What do you think they're trying to do? And they're having some effect there. Get on the bandwagon with me. It's just amazing how we continue going there. Ah, unbelievable. What else do we have going on? Minnesota Congressman Keith Ellison. He's another one. He had to go with Mad Max, I guess. Um, here's the issue. Mad Max, um, long associated with Jew-hating Louis Farrakhan, is now facing heat for joining Farrakhan at a 2013 dinner in New York City. The meeting included Iran's president and a few dozen Muslim Americans. Ellison, one of two Muslims in Congress, claims the, di the dinner's purpose was to find a solution to the issue of Iran's quest for nuclear weapons. Hmm, and Ellison, they, he's a, isn't he the second in charge of the Democrat National Committee? Just, just a thought there. Uh, Susan Perez, who works for New York State, started screaming and cursing at a mother and her crying infant as she boarded a short flight. The lovely Perez then threatened the Delta flight attendant, who tried to calm her down, saying she would get her fired. Karma being what it is, the 53-year-old Perez is the one paying the price having been suspended from her cushy state job, a government worker, thinking that she has all the clout. Unbelievable. Uh, you just get the, the, the list here just goes on. But you have to throw this one in here. And, and this one, I, I, I was against this at first, but I don't know. Students at San Ramon High School, located, of course, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. I've declared that the national anthem will no longer be played at school pep rallies. Student leaders triggered the word slave in the never sung third verse, accused the Star Spangled Banner of being racially insensitive. Looking on the positive side, at least no San Ramon High students will be kneeling during the anthem. And I don't know, did you watch the All-Star basketball game last night? I forgot who that gal was that sang the national... I think, you know, and I can't even sing. But I think I could have done a better job of singing the national anthem than she did. But, hey, that's just one person's opinion. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to talk about climate change. We might also even talk about culture change and relocation and five reasons to hire a real estate professional when buying or selling a home, 15 budgeting tips for building an emergency fund, and of course, we never go anywhere without the Mortgage Minute, even though the markets are closed today, all that and more. You can reach me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. But the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three-minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit, and the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. 
Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 018-69452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 one nine nine zero eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety. The Mortgage Minute today. Well, guess what? I'm not going to give you a whole lot of news about what's going on in the mortgage world today because the markets are closed. So there's nothing really to give you as far as real big headlines. I am going to tell you, though, that we are still in this state of confusion. I've shared this with you before. Why are we in a state of not just California being the state of confusion? But here's the issue. When we're looking at the markets, the bond market has been acting very, very irrational. And you need to understand this if you're thinking about buying, selling, or refinancing a house. What do I mean by acting irrational? Well, generally when we see a stock market as represented by the Dow Jones Industrial Average that is extremely volatile, we expect people to move their money into bonds. That's what we historically will think is the safe haven of the world, the U.S. 10-year Treasury and most other bonds. That means there's more demand for bonds, which means the price of bonds should go up, which means interest rates go down. That's all just mathematics and, and a little bit of economics 101, right? So here's the issue. When we start talking and seeing that the stock market, anybody with a half of an eyesight will realize that the stock market has been extremely volatile over the last couple of weeks. But the bond market is dropping. The bonds are falling drastically and the interest rates have been going up. That's why I say there's a disconnect there. Now, what's going to be the connection? Because it always comes back to reality. These markets always come back to reality. So is the stock market going to get less volatile or is the bond market going to start moving up and we're going to start seeing those interest rates come down. That's going to be the big question of the day. I'm going to tell you right here, right now. You heard it first on Ron Siegel Radio. So we closed out at a, what, uh, 287 was the 10-year treasury. 2.87 was the yield. We've got about 17 basis points of additional upside until we hit some very, very significant resistance. So you can wait until you see 3.04. When we hit 3.04 on the 10-year treasury, we should start seeing those bonds start, the yields start dropping back down, bond prices going up, and that'll be where you'll see the change, and we'll start seeing interest rates come back down a little bit from that point, because we're not going to really go up too much from where we are right now. We've told you that. We closed last Thursday, Freddie Mac came out at 2.38 was the yield on the 10-year treasury. We've told you, I'm sorry, 4.38. We're not going, we're going to go up to about four and a half. That's about it. There, that is the Mortgage Minute. It's again, it's brought to you by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage, the only one I know with the fast pass loan approval 
and he might even save ten to fifty thousand dollars on the purchase of your new home with that fast pass loan approval when your real estate agent is able to check the box that says no loan contingency. Just a thought for you. Let's get into our conversation. So we are chatting this morning. Brent Humphreys is in the house. Chris Hansen is in the house. Chris is here from Missouri for a little bit of a family reunion. Yep. Welcome. Thank you very much. So, you know, we, we talked about climate. I, I put in our headlines for this morning a little about climate change. So what's the, what's the weather like in Missouri right now? Well, ironically enough, it's the same as in uh, Southern California at the moment in the uh, low 60s. However, that'll change on Wednesday when we drop down to the 30s, which is a much more normal winter for us. 30s? Yes. Whew. Brent, what do we do? 30s? We don't even know how to handle that, I'm do we? I'm picturing grabbing a coat from the car. Just the thought <laughs> of 30s. 30s, I mean, uh, that we, we, here we only think about 1930s or <laughs> yeah. you know, different music. I mean, we talk about 30s. That's not, a, that's not a temperature. No. Holy cow. You're going to probably go to the beach or something on the, we, on the, the end of the weekend. Yeah, I, was at the, I was at the beach this weekend. Me too. It's like 70 degrees. and. Well, I got there probably earlier than you. It was, four, it was 49 when I got to the beach this weekend. Ooh. But if the sun hadn't come up yet. Does so. that make you a 49er? No. Uh, no, this is Ram Country. I, I know you lost your charger, so you're not. Uh, you're probably not participating at all. Okay, so you know it's kind of interesting because in in the 30s, do people go out looking for houses when it's in the 30 degrees? Yeah, so we have 12 months of real estate, and it's not seasonal. Uh, a lot of people think it is seasonal. Okay. Um, you know, it's just a matter of what you just said. You throw on the coat, and uh, you're out the door, and you go in and try to find those houses. The difference is we leave the car running for our clients. That way they're not, <laughs> they're not cold when they get back in. No, so our, our cars, if you left them running in most parts of California, they wouldn't be there when you got back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right? So, so, so well, Brent, could you even do that? Leave my car running? Yeah. We got a software update on Tesla now where we have smart conditioning so we can let the car know <clears throat> where we are and what we want the temperature to be. Okay, so... And I if it overheats, there's a new feature now where it will keep constant cabin temperature. So, you know, so pets you can, don't die. Okay, so you, so you can do it. So, arguably. <laughs> arguably, yeah. So, the, the big issue uh, that we... The, I, I read, I, mean, I thought that it was... Uh, you hear certain places where they talk about people not wanting to go out because of the temperature... Right. You know, I went to an open house on, on uh, Saturday or Sunday. You know, I'm just walking around in shorts and a polo shirt. Probably couldn't do that in Missouri. Yeah, I mean, you look at Saturday. I mean, the dynamics of the weather are interesting. So Saturday, we have uh, ice on the road and uh, freezing drizzle. So it's about 30. And then Sunday, which is your typical open house day, uh, we were in the low 50s. And so, you know, we had an open house uh, on Sunday. And, you know, we had 10 to 15 couples through. And that's a pretty decent open house. And, again, the temperatures are much lower than what you'd have here. And you look at some of the numbers. I just uh, happened to pull a couple of report cards out this morning. And ironic, it's amazing when I look at some of the numbers. And, and just for fun, St. Charles County, Missouri, that's about where you are? That's right on the money. Okay. 1,202 homes for sale. I look at San Diego, Carlsbad, MSA, 4,668. Orange County, California, 4,634. Just a few houses. Yeah. But you know something? There's a lot of things that are very similar, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking uh, year over year, you're down 18% in the homes for sale in, in, mm -hmm. in Missouri. So you're still having, you're finding there too. A yep. little bit shortage of uh, inventory? Definitely a shortage of inventory, especially in St. Charles County where new construct permits are, are record highs right now. Uh, we have probably a good dozen to two dozen builders uh, that uh, mass produce homes in St. Charles County just to try to keep up with the shortage that's there. Well, at least that's good, so that can, can kind of help the inventory issues. Uh, it can to an extent, but you've got to be willing to wait for that home to be built. And so since there's such high demand, uh, you know, I think there's probably a lot more people doing leases right now just before they can get into a home. Interesting. Okay, so there's a whole different uh, world there in that area. So is, are the rents go, jumping uh, a lot? In Yeah, the demand for rents is, of course, uh, is increasing the uh, how much it costs to just lease out a property. And then you've got a lot of uh, home sellers leasing out their homes uh, if they've got you know, more than one situation where they can live maybe somewhere else just to get some extra income. So, you know, there's a lot of different dynamics going on in the housing end in St. Charles County right now just based on the shortage. That's fascinating. I look at it again, look, I just look staring at the report cards in front of me that, you know, we, we've, I've spoken many times about home equity 
being, you know, you, you've got put money under the pillow, and I, I'm not a fan of having a home paid off. And I look here, the median home price in St. Charles, $205,580. It's very accurate. And uh, Brent, what's the uh, median down payment price in Carlsbad? About two hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, exactly. Actually, we were discussing that. Was we? Yeah, we were talking about that this morning on the way in. Right. So, so I'm looking at the median home price in Carlsbad, MSA, six hundred six thousand six fifty. Just about triple. Yeah. Amazing. Orange Orange County, eight hundred nine thousand. Wow. Median home price right now. Uh, so almost four times the amount of what we're seeing in St. Charles. And then you look at the return on investment. Which is another fascinating set of numbers here. Orange County, 4.99% over the last 43 years. San Diego, Carlsbad, 4.79 over the last 43 Ooh, years. We're trailing a bit. St. Charles, Missouri, you ready for this one? I, I think I've got my, my friends are over here in the studio. And if I can get my friends to uh, get wake <laughs> up, they might even uh, give us a drum roll, please. 3.74%. Yep. 25%, almost 20% less yep. than Orange County re return on investment. Yeah, not unusual for the Midwest. Uh, if you look at maybe even like uh, just south of us in Oklahoma, they're almost flat. Really? Uh, yes, they're, they're basically a, a flat 0%. So, you know, I, I look at some of the different, and a couple of my, my uh, colleagues on radio who talk about the idea of getting your home paid off. Do you have a lot of people that want to have their homes paid off in Missouri? Uh, I think that that trend is is there because it's more attainable. Uh, you know, when you're talking about loans here, you're talking about jumbo rates, and people want to know what the latest jumbo rates are. In our area, a jumbo doesn't even come across our lips typically uh, for a home loan. In, interesting. Yeah, well, I guess that would make sense because you know you could probably buy uh, part of St. Charles for. <laughs> you know, I looked at a house the other day. Like I said, it was 1.9 million. Right, and then it was a, it was fifty thousand square foot lot in St. Charles. Do you have lots that are large lots? Yeah. So I mean, if we're talking the one point something range, uh, you're usually sitting on you know a good ten to twenty acres and uh, <laughs> maybe cool. overlooking a small <laughs> lake or pond or some sort of water feature. So in California, big lots is a store. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brent. Uh, we, we got good stuff there, buddy. Uh, we're gonna, we're going to continue more in our conversation on the ideas of understanding. Now, the reason I bring this up is because you're, if you're thinking about relocating, maybe you're looking at a new job. There are things whether you're going. You know, most people from California are not going to move too far west. Um, but you know, hey, if you're in, in Missouri, you might move west. California you might move east. Culture shock. You sell your house in California. Your equity could pay for the entire property in St. Charles, but would you want to? Let's talk a little bit about that when we get back. Not because you don't want to move there. I think the great part of the country, I've traveled there, and, and great, great parts of the country to, to, to visit. I'm not sure that, and we, we still like our, our winters here in California. I know we do have winter here, Chris. It's uh, where, about 10 minutes. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's right between snowstorms, something along those lines. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, more with Brent Humphreys and Chris Hansen. Five reasons to hire a real estate professional when buying and selling. And now uh, we got a bunch more stuff that we will go over with you as well. You can reach us anytime off air number 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter at Ron Siegel. Hey, congratulations to the new bride, Veronica. I see you on there. Scott, welcome. Susan, welcome. John, good to see you with us. Brandy, glad you are with us. Jennifer, glad to see you as well. Another John, Neville, Mindy, Bill, Lisa, Michael, Teresa, glad you're all with us today. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few.
Local Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com, the real-time real estate segment today, being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, text TOOLKIT, TOOLKIT to 79564, no, you only have to do it once, just TOOLKIT, no space, to 79564, Get the Ultimate Home Finance Toolkit. It'll be coming your way. It has the mortgage calculators in there, a home affordability worksheet in there, and how to access real-time interest rates. Toolkit to 79564. Top five reasons to hire a real estate professional when buying or selling. And whether you're buying or selling a home, it can be quite the adventure, which is why you need an experienced real estate professional to guide you on the path to achieving your ultimate goal. But in this world of instant gratification and internet searches for many sellers, think that they can for sale by owner. I think I've got a sound effect for that. Yeah, it's going to come out bad. The five reasons you need a real estate professional in your corner haven't changed but have rather been strengthened by the projections of higher mortgage interest rates and home prices as the market continues to pick up steam. Number one, what do you do with all the paperwork? And even more importantly, what happens if you forget some? Number two, okay, you found your dream house, now what? There are over 180 possible steps that need to take place during every successful real estate transaction. How many of them can you name? Number three, are you a good negotiator? 
Number four, what is the home you're buying or selling really worth? Number five, do you know what's really going on in the marketplace? See, these are all issues right there that you gotta really be careful of. Dave Ramsey, the financial guru, advises, when getting help with money, whether it's insurance, real estate, or investments, you should always look for someone with the heart of a teacher, not the heart of a salesman. What do you think I look for on our radio broadcast? Somebody trying to sell something on here? Yeah, they got a bad feeling. I got a bad feeling about this. Ain't gonna be here very long. They'll, 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 see, I got this little little button over here right next to me. Those of you watching on RonSiegelRadio.tv might notice it there. I just mute them because it's not about selling. It's about educating here. And we're not looking to sell you anything. Especially we couldn't, right? I mean, uh, uh, Chris is here from Missouri. We're here in Southern California. I, I don't know whether licenses are even cross boundary lines. I, I don't understand that kind of stuff. But here's the issue, and I, this is why I, it drives me nuts. Well, I start out nuts anyway, but it drives me even worse when I watch these dumb commercials on TV or I hear them on radio and they're talking about the Walmart of real estate. What is it? Purple Rocks or something like that or some of those dumb things where they're going to do all this work for nothing. You get what you pay for. Think about it. And then I hear this other one. Brent, you'll love this one. You know, why do you need the MLS? You can go to the internet. Well, where do you think the internet gets their information? Yeah. The multiple listing service. Right? I mean, it flows right to the internet. I mean, it's just they're playing on people's ignorance, and that's the first level of deception. So is that really what you want when you're, when you're talking about a $200,000 home in St. Charles, Missouri, which is equal to an $800,000 home in Orange County, California? doesn't matter what the number is. It's your castle. Right. That's... Can I give you point number six? Absolutely. The moment the for sale by owner attempts, the, the seller does not want to pay a commission. So let's say they want to save the 6%. The moment they do it for sale by owner, aside from all the paperwork, negotiation, all the problems, the moment the buyer comes along and knows that the seller isn't paying a commission, they reach into the seller's pocket and try to save that 6% because they're both competing for the same dollars they think they're saving. You're 100% correct. And guess, you know, then there's people like me who are not real good at math, right? So if I said that I've got an $800,000 house and it's a for sale by owner so I can take 6% off, so that comes out to $80,000, so I'll just make an offer for seven hundred, right. right? Rather than forty, eight, right, yeah, they right? make a calculation Because it, it's easy and I'm simple, yeah. right? And then I just round it down. Do they do this kind of stuff in uh, Missouri? Well, I'll, I'll do you one better. It's when they call you out for the listing interview so that you can value out their house. And then they say, you know what? Great. We're going to list with you, but we're going to put it on Zillow for a couple weeks and we're going to see if we can sell it ourselves. Ooh. That is exciting right there. <laughs> well, you know something? I'm, I'm in the middle of uh, doing a, a putting together a program, 30 listings in 30 days. And one of the things that I'm going to be promoting to the real estate professionals I'm chatting with you say, you know something? Help out that person as much as you can. Because you two know this, most of our audience probably doesn't. You go and put it out for sale by owner, all you're doing is kind of te testing the market, showing everybody what the price shouldn't be, and at the end of the day, you're going to end up needing a real estate professional to help you anyway if you want to get it done. That's exactly right. I mean, even the owner of, uh, well, I don't even know if the site's around anymore, for salebyowner.com, <laughs> here sold it with a real estate agent. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. And how about the CEO of Zillow, Spencer Raskoff, who sold his own property two years ago for 40% less than his estimate? Right. And it wasn't because he wanted to. It was because that's what the market yeah. determined. Right? And they're paying a million dollar reward right now for any computer science engineer who can improve the Zillow estimate algorithm. Well, they never will because the Zillow estimate's never going to know that granite's in there or hardwood flooring's in there. It's going to assume base model vinyl and carpet. Absolutely. Well, so uh, let's uh, let's chat a little bit more about our our topic today: relocating. Did you do you end up getting many relocation people uh, that are coming your way, Chris? Yeah, we actually do. A lot of it has to do with uh, corporate relocation first. You know, we'll get people to come. Just like there's uh, less expensive housing prices, there's less expensive commercial space. So you'll get, uh, for example, in our area, we have the MasterCard World Headquarters. We have City World Headquarters. I don't know why they want to put all their big headquarters in Missouri, but I think a lot of it has to do with uh, cost. We have the cost issue is certainly one, but the other part of it that I notice, uh, I used to travel about 30 weeks a year. And the people that are in either Dallas or St. Louis or Chicago, 
their flight time is quite a bit less than mm -hmm. going. You know, if you want to go to New York from St. Louis, it's going to take you a little less time. Now, I guess TWA is not there anymore. No, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> right, it used to be TWA had their their hub was right there. Yeah, I mean, when TWA left. Uh, St. Louis, it was kind of ironic. We had just built a second runway and a huge airport expansion, basically doubling the size of uh, St. Louis Lambert Field. And then they went, goodbye, see you later. We, we, we had one other issue like that, but we won't talk about the LA Rams. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you took them and you gave them back. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you got a couple of Super Bowls out of them and then, you know, head on back to but LA. It's, it's better than we've done in LA. We've never got a Super Bowl out of them here. <laughs> right. They've just lost in the Super Bowl out here. Yeah. But look yeah. at the listing opportunity for all those people leaving. They've all got to sell their homes, right? <laughs> That's right. They've got to sell their homes. Sorry. So, <laughs> so when we're looking at relocation and, and both of you being on, on opposite ends of the uh, spectrum, Right, I mean, Brent, you've got the 600000 800000 medium pricing and um, unbelievable taxes in Taxifornia. Do you have the, do, is that a selling point for you, Yeah, Chris? Well, well, our neighboring state, Illinois, has uh, double the property taxes that we do. So we'll have people um, decide to move to Missouri or the St. Louis side of the river just based on that tax advantage you know if you're going to spend two or three thousand dollars in taxes in on the uh, Missouri side you're guaranteed for the same house price to spend six to seven thousand dollars in taxes on the Illinois side your tax rates incredible incredibly high yeah and, well I mean even though you know, the, the rate I mean being at even at one and a quarter or say you know again I'm a simple guy one percent of eight thousand eight hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money yes it is right see I can do that math really quick yeah and, you, <laughs> and you're getting nothing for that other than a tax bill that's right and a kick in the and the kick in the head which isn't even really deductible now under the new tax reform it's there you go capped. exactly so well it was capped before I and mean, we won't even go into the tax side well let's let's talk about taxes so is Missouri one of the higher tax states or lower tax state uh, it's one of the lower ones uh, that's why we're so, able to afford a lot more thin mint cookies okay <laughs> Okay, thanks for that plug again. Don't forget our Girl Scout cookie triple play. We're always pushing it. Okay, so and uh, what other? What do you? Do you have to have a sales pitch or for, you know, an educational book, so to speak, of why somebody should move when you're dealing with that, or are they really being forced to move anyway? No, you're right on the money. Um, relocation has its own guidelines, you know, and, and hopefully in our in our world as a realtor, we're not involved with a relocation company because, you know, they're going to take a large percentage of our commission just to uh, facilitate the transaction where us, the realtor, are doing all the work. So that, that makes it a little more interesting. When they're just doing a relocation, I usually can save them more money than a relocation company just by using us directly. That, so, so I don't want to gloss over that because that's a big issue. How does, say my company decides they want me to move to Missouri and you know I, I need a real estate professional out there. Right. You know, they say, well, here's a, here's the book, the relocation book, and here's who your preferred, you know, realtor is, who's your preferred moving company, and, you know, your, your preferred grocery store and all that kind of stuff. Right. How would I find you as an individual so I can take advantage of that? Well, number one, the, the resource of Google is not bad, right? Okay, you that's super, super secret website. Super secret website, Google. Google.com. Great way to search for a realtor in another, another area. Um, you know, you figure when you are doing a relocation as a buyer, that that relocation company is expecting about a 40% uh, give back from the realtor and then they're going to pay for a few things that look like you're getting something but you're really not. If you were to work with that realtor directly who's now uh, incentivized to work with you at a uh, because you're getting more money, they're going to find things to save you money along the way. You know, they're going to have relationships with lenders, uh, with moving companies, uh, and with uh, homeowners insurance companies that are all going to end up saving you more money in the long term than if you'd use that relocation company. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to talk. We want to talk. Uh, being that uh, we're not in football season right now, but we uh, sometimes do talk football anyway. So. I want to talk about that when we come back because I, I like to consider myself, I know Brent does as well, and like being a quarterback. So I want to chat about that when we come back, especially when you're going to a new city. You might need that as opposed to just somebody who knows how to be a relocation specialist. We'll talk about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we'll also talk about 
No, I'm just going to talk about this. It's my show. I can change the schedule. <laughs> what the heck? That's what we're going to do. We'll talk about that. You can call me anytime. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us. Facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. <laughs> Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Isn't it time you found out the truth about FHA insured home equity conversion? No, it's not your grandfather's reverse mortgage. This just may be the finest financial planning strategy available for all homeowners of retirement age. Helping protect what you've earned is the job of your board of directors with continued education. Major research has shown that using a HECM will significantly enhance the success rate of a retiree's portfolio and legacy. Please allow us to educate. For your complimentary consultation, call Jay Kaplan at 949-300-3855. That's 949-300-3855. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145502 and CalBRE 01869452 and 1-866- You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. They all are. I've been looking at credit reports since the 90s. I have never, ever seen a credit report that does not have numerous errors on them. And that's even credit scores as high as 834. Still found about a half a dozen errors on the reports. I'm not going to go into a whole segment today on the Your Credit Matters segment. I'm just going to tell you, go there, get registered. It's all free. We'll get to see some highlights every week. And if you need help with credit repair, give us a call, 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with the advisory group, and they will take care of that. So we've been chatting this morning 
Chris Hansen is with us. He's here for a family reunion. He's from O'Fallon, Missouri? Yeah, right on the money, inside St. Charles County, just west of St. Louis and the Big Arch. Ah, got you. Okay, so now we know exactly where it is. Brent Humphreys is with us. He comes back frequently to help share some great content with us as well. We're talking about relocation. And one of the issues that we got into, relocation, have have either of you guys ever worked with a relocation company? Many. Yeah, okay. you've got to register with them, which is a wonderful process all on its own. I compare it to going maybe to the doctor for a procedure. Okay. <laughs> nice. It's very, it's very involved. Okay. So where, are they are they in your local community or are they centralized, most of these relocation companies? Yeah, yeah most are nationalized. I mean, there's three big ones out there um, that basically control the market. Okay. And they're, they're in some central cities. They're not in each individual community. Yes. Okay, so... I keep a, I have a, a list that we always work on just because I consider myself the quarterback. I, you know, I, I get a lot of great people that come on the radio broadcast. I'm, I'm blessed to be able to share some great information. I learn about a lot of folks. So I keep this list all the time. It's right on my screen top. I call it Building a Village. And it's got the name of accountants and BK attorneys and family lawyers and mechanics and auto brokers, personal bankers, house cleaners, carpet cleaners. You know, it might even be a bike shop. We were talking about bikes in, in the uh, sure. during the break. Do you think any of those relocation companies will know who the best pediatrician is in in O'Fallon, Missouri? Well, well, the key is is what the buy-in is, right? So, at the end of the day, if that relocation company is referring something or someone to you, it's probably going to be at a much higher cost than if you had just gone out or got a referral from some close personal uh, associate in that area. Right. So. You know, when you have this whole list, and I think I've got, what, uh, 40 different characteristics or, or, or vocations. Right. Right. You want to have somebody that's in that neighborhood, not who's getting, who's not just because they're not referring somebody out just because they get paid for it. Right. I would, well I, said. yeah, and I'm not trying to be political, but I'd almost compare it to maybe national health care. You know, you're letting a large entity make decisions for you when at the ground level you can save a lot of money by figuring it out yourself. Makes, and, it may, and you might get a better service. You might get a better service. Right. I mean, because if I have a, a health issue, you know, I don't want to call, you know, uh, John Smith in New York. And say, you know, I got a toothache, and I just moved to, to to Vista, California. Who do I call? Right, right, right. He might be going to Google just to get the information. You might exactly, <laughs> and and you know, so we all know about Google. I mean, Google's a great service, but we don't know if we're getting good good guidance or bad guidance. That's right. Right. Yeah. I mean, personal referrals always going to trump anything that you're going to find online. Ab- absolutely. So we want to, you know, that's a, a big key right there. Talk, find somebody you know. And here's one of my, my favorite pet peeves. I mean, here's another one. I'll just share this with you. Yelp. Right. Yes. So I can call. Here, this will, this will be hysterical. I'll call Brent and say, Brent, I need to go to. I want to go to dinner in Carlsbad. Where should I go? And you'll say, okay, what kind of food do you want? Because I can tell you 75 restaurants in Carlsbad to go right. to, right? As soon as he tells me where to go, what, what's my wife going to do? Nice. Go on Yelp. Yep. yep. Now, we know, we like, we trust Brent. And we're going to look at Yelp to find something from somebody that we don't know. We don't know if we like him and we don't know if we trust him. Doesn't that doesn't make sense. No, it makes no sense whatsoever. Right? So I can call Chris if I'm there and get this information easily. Moving companies. How, how do we find a moving company for the relocation? Do right. you guys know of people? Well, so on relocation, they're going to refer you to a moving company that right. works with their company. But if you go ground level again and you get a personal referral, uh, you're going to save a lot of money, especially in moving. I mean, something that may cost six or seven thousand dollars with one mover may cost you twelve hundred to thirteen hundred dollars with another mover, and that's based on experience of shopping for clients. And that would make a ton of sense because. You know, you just look at, and I think we've all been involved in this, especially those living in California, where the price that you're quoted has a lot to do with your zip code as opposed to the job. Correct. Yep. Right? I mean, if you're looking at an $800,000 house, the moving company is saying, eh, that might be a $15,000 job. Cha-ching. Right? You look at a, a $200,000 house. Right. And if they said $15,000, you're saying, no, I'm not talking about down payment. I'm talking about, you know, moving. <laughs> right. Right? I mean, it's a big world, a big difference. So, you know, those are just a few more things. What about schooling? 
schools are really important. I mean, you got to consider what if, if your kids are in a, a specific class or a, you know maybe a magnet school or um, dual language immersion. If you're moving, you want to make sure that the kids aren't going to be disrupted from that. That you're moving to an area with high-rated schools, high API scores, and similar programs and, and sports too. Sure. Yeah, and that's an interesting topic. Schools. So as realtors, you know, we're only we're only allowed to do so much as far as being an advocate for our for our potential buyer. Um, a lot of the online that you see these days with greatschools.org and the five star rating or the scale of one to ten, here's a nine. I always suggest to that particular buyer, listen, walk into the school and just talk to the staff. You're going to get number one a sense right off the bat when you walk through those doors of what kind of institution you're dealing with. Now, I would suggest or submit to you, and I don't know, I don't know Missouri at all. Mm-hmm. Right. If you, I know right here we're we're right near a, a high school right here. Immediately after drop off, not necessarily as much the high schools, but the junior high and the elementary schools. Right after drop off, there's a significant influx of people that are over at Starbucks. Right. There you go. Go down to Starbucks. Start talking okay. about education. So, so you you have it's a similar yes. scenario. Similar, similar dynamic. Yes. Okay. So we can look at that, and I guess it's probably going to be in almost every every community around the country. It's just because there's so many Starbucks. Right. <laughs> there you go. It's a great place that has grounds for good conversation. Right. And grounds. 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 Good, that, great. Thanks, yeah. Brent. Uh, awesome. Wait a second. I think <laughs> I think my friends came back again, Brent. Oh no! I get that sound. <laughs> Uh, you, I just found this one, Brent. That was just for you. Surprise! 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 Okay, well, so what else do we need to know about relocation? I mean, we already talked about the climate change. We've talked about uh, finding someone to help you with the buying. Can, Brent, I mean, I know that you and Chris are friends, but if you're helping me sell my house here, mm-hmm. would you be a resource for me buying a house in Dallas? I, I, I would in that I have a, an extensive referral network. So, I mean, I've got a, a Facebook friend right now. We haven't communicated since high school, which was in the 1980s. He's got a property up in Monterey that he needs to sell. We went back and forth through Facebook Messenger over the weekend, and today I'm going to line him up with an agent Okay. in yep. his area that specializes in that market. And, you know, we've been kidding with Chris here about being uh, at a family reunion. Right. But really, the legitimacy of what you're here for is for a big business meeting. That's exactly right. You're, you're referring or, or getting to know people you can refer to uh, in the future. So you're getting to know the, uh, the whole idea, know, like, and trust some people that are, are in the same industry. And that way, you, if you have a client that needs to move or they have a client that needs to move, everyone's on the same page. You kind of have a, you can send somebody to somebody you're comfortable with. That's right. You want that experience that they had with you to be similar to wherever they're going because they have an expectation that if they're getting that referral from you, that that's what you're going to give them. Absolutely, because you're not going to give somebody you, you don't trust. Right. That's exactly right. Great information. If you want to meet any of our guests, give me a call anytime. Be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day and join Ron Siegel Radio where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A very big thanks to John who's in engineering us today and of course a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us that's all for ron siegel radio again if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests call me anytime 800-306-1990 800-306-1990 or ronsiegelradio.com and remember make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun have a great day we'll talk to you next time on ron siegel radio